Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to dive into a topic that might just surprise you. Did you know that the way Jesus treated sinners and women in the Bible might not be what you think? Let's take a closer look at how Jesus interacted with those society deemed as outcasts. His actions towards sinners and women had a profound impact that still resonates today. Many hold preconceived ideas about Jesus' treatment of sinners and women. Some see him as a harsh judge, while others view him as turning a blind eye to wrongdoing. The Bible, however, paints a more nuanced picture. When it comes to sinners, Jesus is often portrayed as a stern figure demanding adherence to strict rules. However, the Gospels depict a more compassionate approach. Take the story of the woman caught in adultery, John 8 1-11. Religious leaders brought her to Jesus, expecting condemnation. Instead, he challenged the self-righteousness of her accusers, prompting them to leave. He didn't condone her actions, but neither did he condemn her as a person. He offered forgiveness and a chance to change, go, and sin no more. Jesus also used powerful parables to illustrate God's love for sinners. In the parable of the prodigal son, Luke 15 to 32 a son who squanders his inheritance is welcomed back by his father with open arms. This unconditional love reflects Jesus' message, God seeks the lost and rejoices when they repent. Regarding women, Jesus' interactions defied the cultural norms of his time. Women were generally seen as subordinate. Yet, Jesus treated them with dignity and respect. He engaged in theological discussions with Samaritan women, John 4, a group marginalized by Jews. He healed women on the Sabbath, challenging the rigid interpretations of religious authorities Luke 13 10-17. Women also played a vital role in Jesus' ministry. He included them among his followers, something revolutionary for the time. Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and Susanna are just a few examples, Luke 8 3. These women were not passive observers, they actively supported Jesus and were the first witnesses to the resurrection, Mark 16 1-8. The Bible portrays Jesus offering forgiveness and hope to sinners, regardless of their background. He challenged societal norms by treating women with respect and valuing their contributions. While Jesus did advocate for moral living, his message was ultimately one of love, compassion, and redemption. The image of Jesus Christ often conjures ideas of a stern judge or a gentle shepherd. However, the Gospels paint a richer picture, revealing a radical figure who challenged societal norms through his interactions with sinners and women. One striking example is the story of the woman caught in adultery, John 8 1-11. Here, religious leaders presented Jesus with a woman accused of a serious transgression, expecting him to uphold the law by endorsing her stoning. Jesus, however, refused to participate in their condemnation. He famously wrote in the sand, prompting the accusers to leave one by one, perhaps reflecting on their own imperfections. This act not only protected the woman but also exposed the hypocrisy of her accusers. Jesus then offered her forgiveness, urging her to go, and sin no more. He didn't condone her actions, but he treated her with compassion and offered a chance for reform, a radical notion in a society focused on punishment. Jesus' parables further illustrate his focus on redemption over condemnation. The parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector, Luke 18 9-14, critiques self-righteousness. The Pharisee boasts of his piety, while the tax collector, considered a sinner by society, humbly begs for forgiveness. Jesus commends the tax collector's humility, highlighting that God desires repentance over outward displays of holiness. Similarly, the parable of the prodigal son, Luke 15 32 depicts a father's unconditional love for his wayward son. The son squanders his inheritance, yet the father welcomes him back with open arms upon his repentance. This parable emphasizes God's boundless love that extends even to those who have transgressed. Jesus' interactions with women were equally revolutionary. In a culture that largely relegated women to the domestic sphere, Jesus treated them with dignity and respect. He engaged in theological discussions with the Samaritan woman at the well, John 4 4-26, challenging societal prejudice against Samaritans and defying the expectation that men wouldn't speak to women in public, let alone discuss religious matters. Jesus acknowledged her theological curiosity and revealed himself as the Messiah, a privilege typically reserved for men. Furthermore, Jesus didn't shy away from healing women on the Sabbath, a day of strict religious observance. When he healed a crippled woman on the Sabbath, Luke 13 10-17, the synagogue leader condemned him. Jesus, however, challenged this rigid interpretation of the law, arguing that acts of mercy supersede legalistic rules. This act not only restored the woman's health but also demonstrated Jesus' belief in the inherent worth of women, 
defying the notion that their needs were secondary to religious rituals. Jesus also defied expectations by including women among his disciples, Luke 8 1-3. Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and Susanna are just a few examples. These women weren't passive observers, they actively supported his ministry and witnessed the crucifixion. Most remarkably, they were the first witnesses to the resurrection, Mark 16 1-8, a pivotal event in Christianity, entrusted to share the news with the apostles. This inclusion challenged the prevailing notion that women shouldn't hold positions of authority or be entrusted with sacred knowledge. These instances showcase Jesus' radical approach to sinners and women. He offered forgiveness and hope to those ostracized by society, elevated the marginalized, and redefined religious practices to prioritize compassion over rigid moral codes. Through his actions, Jesus laid the groundwork for a more inclusive and accepting faith. The Gospels offer a compelling portrait of Jesus Christ, not just as a religious leader, but as a compassionate revolutionary. His interactions with sinners and women stand out as pivotal moments, defying societal norms and revealing his true character and teachings. One such encounter occurred when Jesus met the Samaritan woman at the well, John 4 4-26. Societal prejudice ran deep between Jews and Samaritans, and social norms dictated that men wouldn't speak to women in public, let alone discuss religious matters. Jesus shattered these barriers by initiating a conversation about faith with a woman. He acknowledged her theological curiosity, a quality often disregarded in women, and even revealed himself as the Messiah, a privilege typically reserved for men. This encounter not only challenged ethnic and gender bias but also established Jesus' willingness to engage with those deemed outsiders by society. Another pivotal moment came when Jesus encountered the woman caught in adultery, John 8 1-11. Here, Religious leaders presented Jesus with a woman accused of a serious transgression, expecting him to uphold the law by endorsing her stoning. Instead, Jesus refused to participate in their condemnation. He subtly exposed their hypocrisy by writing in the sand, prompting them to leave one by one. This act not only protected the woman from immediate punishment, but also challenged the self-righteousness of her accusers. Jesus then offered her forgiveness, a radical notion in a society focused on punishment. Here, Jesus revealed his compassion for sinners and his belief in redemption over condemnation. The parables Jesus used further illuminate his core message. The parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector, Luke 18 9-14, critiques self-righteousness. The Pharisee boasts of his piety, while the tax collector, considered a sinner by society, humbly begs for forgiveness. Jesus commends the tax collector's humility, highlighting that God desires repentance and genuine remorse over outward displays of holiness. Similarly, the parable of the prodigal son, Luke 15 32 depicts a father's unconditional love for his wayward son. The son squanders his inheritance, yet the father welcomes him back with open arms upon his repentance. This powerful story emphasizes God's boundless love that extends even to those who have transgressed. Through these parables, Jesus revealed his character as one who seeks redemption and offers forgiveness to all who repent. Jesus' revolutionary approach extended to healing practices. When he healed a crippled woman on the Sabbath, Luke 13 10-17, a day of strict religious observance, the synagogue leader condemned him for breaking the Sabbath rules. Jesus, however, challenged this rigid interpretation of the law, arguing that acts of mercy supersede legalistic rules. He restored the woman's health and demonstrated his belief in the inherent worth of all people, regardless of gender or social status. This act challenged the notion that women's needs were secondary to religious rituals. Finally, Jesus' inclusion of women among his disciples, Luke 8 1-3, shattered the prevalent belief that women shouldn't hold positions of authority or be entrusted with sacred knowledge. Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and Susanna are just a few examples of women who actively supported Jesus' ministry and witnessed the crucifixion. Most remarkably, they were entrusted to be the first witnesses to the resurrection, Mark 16 1-8, a pivotal event in Christianity. Jesus not only included women but also deemed them worthy of experiencing and sharing this sacred knowledge. These pivotal encounters with sinners and women reveal Jesus' true character. He emerges not as a harsh judge but as a compassionate figure who challenged societal norms, offered forgiveness, and valued all people regardless of their background or gender. Through his actions and teachings, Jesus laid the groundwork for a more inclusive and accepting faith tradition. Jesus' interactions with sinners and women stand as powerful testaments to his message of love, forgiveness, and equality. He defied societal expectations by offering compassion to the ostracized. The Samaritan woman found theological discussion, the adulterous woman received forgiveness, and the tax collector encountered grace, all defying norms that deemed them unworthy. 
Jesus' parables further illustrate his focus on redemption. The prodigal son's unconditional welcome exemplifies God's boundless love. His healing practices, like restoring a crippled woman on the Sabbath, emphasize the importance of mercy over rigid rules. Jesus' inclusion of women as disciples shattered the glass ceiling. Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and others actively participated, not as passive observers. Even the first witnesses to the resurrection were women, a pivotal event entrusted to their care. Through these actions, Jesus established a message of equality, challenging the notion that certain groups were inherently inferior. His interactions reveal a God who extends love and opportunity to all, fostering a more inclusive and accepting faith tradition. Have Jesus' teachings on forgiveness and acceptance resonated with you? How can we, inspired by Jesus' example, create a more compassionate and inclusive world today? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're looking for more thought-provoking content that explores faith, history, and their impact on our lives, subscribe to our channel. We delve into fascinating topics to spark conversations and inspire reflection. Don't miss out, hit that subscribe button and join the community.